All right, we've got our temperature just right in the brooder. We're time to take our little baby uh, quail out of the incubator and introduce them to the brooder. So we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> This video is part two of six, The Brooder, Raising Quail, part two. Well, we got the, the heat lamp running. I got the right temperature in the bottom uh, of the brooder. We got some fresh water in there and we got them some um, brand new 30% uh, uh, feed for the, for the babies to learn how to eat. So let's take them out of the incubator and let's get them in the, in the brooder and let them start the growing process. Come on. Take a little look at one of you. Can you see? Okay, here you go. Let's put you right on in here. How you like that? One of them already found the water. They're, lo they're looking around and checking out their new house. So, we'll be back in about a week and we'll, we'll watch the progress of these little fellers as they continue to grow and feather out. So, we'll see you back in about a week. Well, good morning, friends. Our little quails are seven days old today, and they've made a lot of progress. I'm fixing to give them a little little food to eat here, and I thought you might like to take a look at and see how much they've grown in just an extremely short amount of time. So come on in and take a look up close. If you take a look at them, you can see that some of these guys have really feathered, starting to feather out. They're getting pretty healthy. They're pretty solid, nice, pretty birds. They're eating, drinking well. They're, they're even starting to try to flutter a little bit, like trying to fly. If you look at, take a close look at their wings, if I can get some to come over there. Come on around, come on. They're active kind of shy today. But anyway, they're, um, they're doing well. We've um, only lost two. We let one um, uh, just didn't make it the next morning, and then an another one um, died a day, a day later. So we lost two, but all the rest of them look to be pretty good. They have literally tripled in size. That means literally. And um, they, they should be getting you know, about ready to go over to, to the hutch and, you know, another seven to 10 days. Come on. Everybody's acting like they're shy. Come on around here. I don't want to handle or mess with them too much. I'm scared I'm going to injure some of their feathers or break their feathers or injure them in some way. So I don't usually put my hands in here at all. Okay, so we'll be back in um, another week and we will take a look at their progress and see how much they've grown in a week. Well, today is 14 days since the little babies were hatched 
and they are really putting on the weight and really grown. It's a remarkable to watch how fast these things grow and all the instinct that God has put into each one of these birds that they learn how to eat, they learn how to drink, they learn how to fly and walk all just in 14 days. It's amazing to watch these things. You can literally see every day a difference in these birds. It's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. So anyway, they're, they're 14 days old today. They're fully feathered out. They're ready to go to the hutches. So what I've done is I've cut off my heat lamp uh, during the day. I still leave it up on at night, but I've got it up as high as I can get it. So it just gives them just a little bit and they're tolerating that coolness just fine. And um, we're gonna give them a two or three more days here without the heat lamp and let them go a, a night or two without a lamp at all. And then um, at that point, they'll be what I call seasoned, and they'll be ready to go over to the hutch. And so we'll come back on um, in a few days and do another video of us moving them into the hutch. So today I wanted to just uh, let you take a look at them and see how beautiful they've, they've gotten and, um, and see for yourself. Come on in. Well, me and Nancy sure thank you for watching us and joining us on this little journey with our quail as they went from the incubator into the uh, brooder. So stay tuned and you know in a couple of days we'll be taking them out of the brooder and going over to the hutch to their new home. So we'll, we'll bring that to you on another, on another uh, video here very shortly. So if you like our channel and you like watching us bringing this place to life, literally bringing it to life, I'll, um, you can subscribe and be a part of our homestead family. So until me and Nancy see you next time, we want to always thank God for everything he's given us, even these beautiful, beautiful quail. So until we see you next time, always remember, by his hands, hands, we are fed. Bread. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and posts from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.